Hey guys, it's Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be giving you a review for Plutona issue number two. Uh, this is written by Jeff Lemire with art by Emmy Lee Knox. So, yeah, let's get into that issue. Uh, so, the comic opens up with a cliffhanger from last issue, which was Plutona being dead and our crew basically finding her. Uh, and what basically happens in this issue is that our crew decides what they're gonna do. Uh, one of the members, I'm not sure what his name is, um, it's, you know, I should really remember his name. It's um, Ray. So Ray wants to basically, this is Ray. He wants to take pictures of Plutona dead. He wants to videotape her and he wants to sell all these images and videos to the press so they could get money. But uh, the other guy, which his name is like Leo or something, it's um, Teddy. So Teddy, which is this guy, he doesn't want to do that to Plutona because he knows that if the villains find out that Plutona is dead, they're basically going to do more crime and, uh, you know, they're going to basically mess things up. And uh, in this issue, we find out that the team is not going to do anything with Plutona yet. Uh, and they all decide to go home. So when we have this awesome panel in which we see what the whole team is doing simultaneously, we see them how they're resting. We see them in bed. And in the last panel, we see that Teddy is not in his room. And in the cliffhanger, we find out that Teddy has gone to visit Plutona and he has a knife with him. So what is he planning to do? Is he planning to cut her up? Is he planning to, um, you know, I guess, cut a piece of her costume to see if that gives him powers? We'll see. But that's where the issue ends. Um, but, you know, we have this like mini, I guess, comic in the back, which is, I guess, the last adventure of Plutona. We find out how she got here. And in that cliffhanger, we find out that there was a setup and Plutona was basically caught in this explosion and that's where she might have died. So that's uh, where the issue ends. And yeah, what did I think of Plutona number two? Uh, Plutona number two, I thought was a nice, you know, change kind of thing. Um, last issue, we got introduction. In this issue, I thought we got more of a character development in that, you know, setting where we see what the whole crew is doing simultaneously. I thought we found out a lot about the characters um, because we basically find out that Ray, his father, doesn't really spend time with him. He, all he does is sit around on the couch doing nothing. And um, the other girl, I forgot her name, uh, she has a lot of, you know, support from her family. Um, you know, I should really remember their names. I just know Ray and Teddy. Um, uh, yeah, so... D, oh me, so me and D, uh, me and D, so me has a lot of support from her parents as well, and uh, yeah, they all have different lives, but you understand a lot about them, and especially Teddy. Teddy, I think, is going to play a crucial part because he is the superhero follower. Um, he's he knows more about this whole situation than anybody else, and he's kind of more mature than everybody else. So we'll see what happens. I'm hooked up for sure. Um, I like this. I'm a sucker for teen. Uh, stories and Plutona just completely made me happy when I read it. I love the humor of it. I love the interaction between the teens. And I think you guys should definitely check this out. I gave Plutona number two a 9.5 out of 10. I thought it was really, really surprising. And uh, yeah, definitely pick it up. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.